New since 10, support for a local church pastor accused of sexually abusing children. As far as the allegations, they're, they're, they're ludicrous. Um, I mean, the man's, he's a, he's a teddy bear. 78-year-old Paul Dial is the pastor of Assembly of the Body of Christ Church and School in he Jacksonville. Was, he was one of three men who were arrested and charged with sexual assault on a minor. These are the mugshots for Dial, Jerome Teschendorf, and Vernon Williamson. Jacksonville police say there are multiple victims in this case. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avignet joining us live from the jail. Eric, a church member reached out to say Dial is innocent. Yeah, the man I spoke with says that he can't speak for the other two suspects, but he says the pastor is sitting here inside the Duval County Jail without bond as a result of lies. Jacksonville police say a lengthy investigation into Pastor Paul Dial over allegations of sexual abuse on children is what led to Dial being arrested. Dial is the pastor of Assembly of the Body of Christ Church and School located on Old Kings Road. Since his arrest, News for Jax has spoken to one woman who says the pastor sexually assaulted her when she was a child attending the church. This happened to me several times over a period of five to six years. And another woman has told News for Jax her family left the church following rumors of sexual abuse involving multiple children. We want this to come to light. We want him to, you know, pay for what he's done to probably multiple people. One member of the church who wished to remain anonymous called News for Jax to express his support for the pastor. He's a teddy bear. Um, the the kids, kids love him. He's, he's one of the most pure men that, I, that I've ever been around. But purity didn't sway a judge when Dial's attorney tried to convince the judge to offer her client a bond. His bond has, has already been set. Uh, probable cause has already been found. A warrant has already been issued. And I don't see any reason to change that bond. The man I spoke with who supports the pastor says lies from multiple people have led to the pastor being arrested and vilified. So do you think he's set up? Absolutely. Without a doubt. 100 per percent. It's, it makes my blood boil to, to see some of the comments that people are making. And I thought we were supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. And just because someone makes an accusation or a number of people make accusations doesn't make something true. Now, I did tonight speak with an attorney who was not associated with the case who says that uh, accusations can, in fact, lead to a probable cause to get an arrest warrant, but to convict someone still requires proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And we have to remember that at this juncture, uh, it's still too early to tell if police have eyewitnesses or physical evidence that may have aided them in this investigation. Reporting live from outside the Duval County Jail, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.